Hi guys, welcome back Magic Farm 2 with me, Sid, and uh, uh, I've got the factory more or less ready to start working in it. Um, so going to do a couple of things today. Um, the first one is I need to take the food items from here, so steaks, pork, chicken. I'm not getting any mutton at all, so I'm guessing the mutton isn't dropping from those... Um, Murderous eggies would be useful. Uh, I suppose the fish from whatever I'm getting that's dropping fish. This is must be some. I'm guessing that might be the zombie fishing zombies actually or something. Um, and probably the sugar that I'm getting from the witches. So those all need to be diverted over to the um, factory. So I'm going to. I'm going to start off over in the factory actually, I'm in exactly the wrong place. <laughs> so what is it? Is the sun coming up over there? Could be. Right, let's um let's get my hang glider. Mine oh, got something I want to do with that today as well. Um that's the other thing I want to do. I need to try and get automate my blood magic capture a bit. So but we'll get this bit done for starters. I think I have everything I need. Whee! Let's um, zoom over there. World isn't loading. Come on in, world. So, yeah, I've uh, I've won the vehicle exchanged much of the land leading up to it. I've run out of dirt, to be honest. So the factory is, as I say, structurally sorted. And we'll just have a little flyby while we can. See if we can see any friendly little mobs. <laughs> oh, I've got this damn moth in, in my room and it's just buzzing around bugging me constantly. So I haven't moved the uh, ender quarry yet. That's um, still as it was. Oops. Wee bunk. So, yeah. I got the floor, this is done, you'll notice there's no torches on the floor whatsoever and that's because I've got hidden under floor right, and this is just a hole down into my basement area um, glowstone covers and then above those there is um, redwood bark covers so that gives us the space, this is just for me to do my wiring and stuff down here hidden wiring um, foreman's office, so that's going to be just a little bit of decoration in there. Uh, this end we have got three furnaces. Um, useful trick if you're wanting to use fire in an area where there's wood. Microblocks don't burn. So if you've got wood, microblock them, stick them down and there's our thing. Again, they serve no useful function whatsoever. And then these, this is going to be the structure of the different floors, so this is going to be kind of mezzanine, then we're going to have a slightly larger one there, and then just another one just at the top here. So we're going to use um, these iron block of iron posts. got so much iron, I can afford to use it decoratively now. So what I want to do now is, I think, under here I'm going to put in my... Um, storage for various bits and pieces of food so probably go uh, that probably wants to come out though doesn't it I haven't got any spruce on me no right so I right, can do that after so we will come here We'll pop in, I'll do now. Do I want to <laughs> let me just think this through actually? This is probably not what I want. What I'm going to need to do is, yeah, I wonder if I can chop those up. Just a stupid thought here. 
No, you can't. <laughs> right. Da, da, da. Because I've got to bring the goods in, and I've also, but I've also got to bring the items out, um, and then take them to wherever I want them in the factory. So, if I bring the items in from underneath, then I can have the items come out from the top, I suppose. So I'll just do, I'm going to do, I think. That should be enough for now. Let me just uh, come down here. So you can see what I've done there. I've just used two halves of... Uh, how far did I go? That far. When in doubt, chop the floor out. Okay, so here I think I'm going to stick in a tesseract. Uh, just need something to mount that against. And this is going to be my... Ah, idiot. I started making the tesseracts. I thought I'd done everything. Oh, God. Get me out of there. <laughs> and of course, what I've done. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, incidentally, you'll notice my hearts. I've made another nine of those um, heart canisters. Where have they gone? There we go. One short, and I've got two yellow hearts as well now. So, thing. Yeah, these are Tesseract frames. I haven't actually. Where are we? <sighs> done this bit yet. So I'm going to have to head back and do that quickly. Um, while I'm at it, we'll dolly, get that on a dolly and we'll take that with us. Uh, anyway, I'm going to just going to go and fix, remedy that particular problem and I will be back in a moment. Okay, I've made the um, Tesseract, so we can go and pop those in. But while I'm here, I just want to grab three of these. Uh, and this dolly I want to convert up, upgrade, to a diamond dolly. And there's a reason for that. Um, this thing can move spawners. Um, so my thoughts and plans are... What's going to be the quickest way to get back up there? Probably up here. Are to... Grab a spawner. I happen to know where there is one because I spotted it the other day. Um, nice thing with this is spawners are fairly common in this um, mod pack. And then bring it over to close to the base of my altar. Build a channel to channel the mobs up to into the altar range. And then use my autonomous actuator with a dagger of sacrifice and see if we can automatically put blood in which would be quite useful so anyway while we're here um let me get my tesseract so that is thing we're going to make this uh that's 101 that's 100 so i'm going to do 103 uh goods transport Set and add. Uh, now this wants to be sending none, receiving, no, sending, receiving items. That's what we're after. And then with a bit of uh, ducting, we can handle this side of it. Okay. I'm saying okay again, aren't I? <laughs> um, so then what we need to do is head back to the platform. Let's get some out. Oh, I cleared the uh, island as well. 
No. So we'll head back over and then we can reroute those um, food barrels out to the Tesseract. Whee! It's the only way to travel. Uh, used quite a bit up there, surprisingly. Right, so we're going to grab that. And we're going to get me other te me tesseract, and that is going to be in. And we're going to set this to goods transport. Set it, and it is sending items. It is receiving nothing and nothing. Now I may change the uh, thing to actually the other end to receive liquids and route my milk over there as well, but. Until then, that's uh, that's fine. Now, what I then want to do, let me get rid of that, is I want to whitelist stakies. And if I take you out, you out, you out. Where the hell did that go? There's one there. As bad as pictures, these item, these um, covers. What? I'm missing one. Where did it go? I bet it's outside, you know. Uh, and eggies, sugar, and fish. Very, very good. Sorry. Uh, okay, so we can take our, I think we can set that one, and we can give it a signal, and we should hopefully see now the stake going through the system. So I've got to do that for the rest, and I'm probably going to be backwards and forwards in just making sure this is working. Um, the other thing I probably need over there is a chunk loader, so I'll uh, I'll need to get one of those knocked together, it's not too bad, a couple of diamonds, uh, gold and stuff, so yeah, we can get that sorted. So I'm going to grab the chunk loader, get that built, go over and just get the other items um, transferring, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, um, this is now working, I've brought laser coming over steadily, um, if I just run down to the cellar, the, the chunk loader is now in place. So I'm going to need to build some more tesseracts um, to bring things like wheat and veg over, other foodstuffs. Um, and I think probably next episode I'm going to try and set up a, a factory area in here. Just a small one. And we're going to start off with the automating bread production. Um, now, you say what's hard about making bread? Well... That way, dead easy. However, I intend to make it that way, which is a little bit more complex because we're going to need to pestle the wheat and then get the salt, which we can do. Or Again, these are all going to be um, cyclic assemblers we're going to use to build these. And hopefully we'll get a little factory that can churn out bread and then from that we should be able to go and start making the let me get this right what i want to do ultimately is get the deluxe if i can find it chicken sandwich there should be a burger somewhere in that lot fish sandwich no <laughs> In there somewhere there is a recipe for a burger and we'll basically uh, go, let me just look up the deluxe. Is it not, it's not that, is it? Uh, okay. uh, it's this one, the delighted meal, that's the one, the one we've got in my inventory. So we're going to need to automate 
smoothies, we're going to need to automate fries, we're going to need to automate the production of that, which is basically going to be a cheeseburger, let it up. A, let me get the right cheeseburger, which is going to be need automated cheese, and that's going to come through, and we're going to have our toast and that, so we're going to need to make toast and raw beef. So, yeah, we're going to have that, that's going to be coming through, and, and yada yada. So, it should be quite a complicated factory but the ultimately the end product should be that this lot that's coming in here will come in and go through a bunch of machines and it will spit me out delighted meals pardon me looks like it's getting to uh, night time let's just see whether we can sleep before we start on the next idea i've got let me stick on my harness uh, I think, well, oh, it's in the uh, back in the base. So, next thing I want to do is round here, and I'm going to need that. Now, as I say, these diamond dollies can. Have I got any chests on me? I haven't, have I? <laughs> All right. Well, down here. Looks like I was getting basically completely inundated by zombies. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. And there is the reason. Huh, got it. So armed with this dolly. Now one thing I wanted to check is someone suggested that if I... Yes. This is for Nomad, it was a suggestion that if I put the, if I get make a, a dolly, which has got no durability, the diamond does when you're moving mob spawners, but, and stick it into my backpack, it negates the adverse effects. And it does. Woohoo! That's going to be handy. Uh, I'm going to be a very, very well-equipped Nomad in that series. <laughs> Okay, so for this, what I want to do is just try a simple experiment. Because obviously we've got my blood altar. Um, and we know that zombies spawn in... Well, spawn is spawn in a... Th uh, what's it? 5x5x3 five by five by area. So if I were to put my... If I were to come down here in a straight line and go 1, 2, 3, 4... four down to about here, which will give us one, two, three. Is it a five by five? It is a five. Oh, I don't know. But if I do, if I do it th like that and make a, a compound, and then they spawn, and but the only way for them to go is up here, and then to the side of the altar here, we place this fella. I love that. Whee! <laughs> Brilliant device. Anyway, so, yeah, he's going to um, basically right-click with the old um, sacrificial knife. Zombies will spawn down there, come up here, they'll get killed, put into the thing, and yada yada. Now, if this works, what I will then do is come up with a more permanent structure. So what I need to do to start off with is probably grab a little bit more materials. So I'm going to grab those and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, well, this doesn't work. That works, but it doesn't kill them. However, that works fine. <laughs> Need to work out a design for this, but I can basically let these guys run loose. Um, and let me just check. What well, problem with this backpack? It keeps on duplicating things. Which is not good. 
that's full now anyway, so... Yeah, it's, uh... Interesting. Hello. But it will be a lot easier. Now this setup I've got here is, is about as simple as it can be at the moment. It is literally just a big box with a ramp. What I'm interested in trying to find out is um, if I can put this underneath the altar which might be worthwhile trying so I'm gonna have a little bash at that and uh, I'll re be back in a few moments okay well the answer to that question is no <laughs> they don't work underneath I've dug out this hole I've lured zombies in here and I've stabbed them with me sacrificial dagger and I've raised the floor up a bit and stagged them roof. it doesn't work underneath um, which is a shame. However, I am aware that there are certain uh, the runes, uh, rune structures. There's part of blood magic, and there's a couple of things you can build underneath the altar. So I'm leaving this because it will come in handy. And I had a brainwave. Put a spawning room on top of the altar with this as a drop here. Now what I will need is some conveyor belts um, because currently my plan is to have the sp spawn here and then just conveyor belt the little buggers into this hole with, uh, where they will fall down and I will go rah, rah, and kill them. So we'll have to get some conveyor belts or make some conveyor belts, or whatever we need to do to get conveyor belts. I'll probably sleep as well, because the night's coming. Because um, one of the things with the blood magic that I think is probably the hardest bit in the uh, in the blood magic is, is getting that blood and getting it as automatically as possible. I've got nine. What's the recipe on those? That's not the recipe on those. Rubber, redstone, and iron. Alright, please tell me I have some rubber. Oh, God. I thought I had some rubber. Plant stuff. I have got rubber saplings, so I suppose I can go and bone meal the hell out of some. Alright, yep, I'm going to have to go and bone meal the living snot out of some rubber. Um, so I am going to sleep the night off, I'm going to sort out the rubber thing, get some conveyor belts sorted, and I will be back in a little while. Okay, I, uh, I got some rubber, made some conveyor belts, let me grab that, and get up here. So if I'm placing... Uh, have I got? Yes, I have. Good, good. If I'm placing my spawner here, well, first thing I want to do is make sure they can't spawn on top of it. And then we're going to want to go, let's have a look. This is probably, well, probably going to be better done like this, I think. And then we can bump, 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 bump. Uh, where's my spawner? And then bump. No. Nope. Wrong. Bump. Bump. Do, 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 do. And then probably chop this out. Uh, grab me wood. Uh, I'm going to need to refuel this jetpack before long. And that should be. Ah, hello. How are you doing? Right, let me check the altar level. It is 2370, because I built, made one of those, and one of those. 
Ow. Really? Oh, look at him, he's a cute little baby fire zombie. Which means... Oh, bum. Uh... I can't sacrifice him. But, all things been equal... Yeah, I think that's gonna, that's gonna work really well. I can just sit here and grind the zombies. I could probably even protect this off now and... Oh! Man, you look hungry! <laughs> hungry zombie villager! Anyway, yeah, so... I think... I'll dress that up a little bit as well, because it's... Uh, I could put a tank in actually and drain... Drain the blood off of this altar, drain it into a second altar for use as on demand. Ah. What did I? Ha uh -huh. No tank though. Uh, ah, something we can do at a later date, but we can. I know we can t drain blood off. So what I may do is. <laughs> siphon the blood from this down into here and then have a second altar beneath it uh, and the second altar will be where I create my slates and stuff safe and sound underground at least until I get to the point where I can build the, um, the tier 4 and 5 altar because that's almost full already uh, whereas when I've used this grinding at night and now it is full when I've used this grinding at night it's taken sometimes a couple of nights to fill it um, and obviously it'd be nice to get the the next tier and then even the next tier of uh, runes in anyway I hope that's uh, not been too bitty bobby for you um, I think next time we will definitely drop this tank and I may I may even leave the factory for a little while and get this set up fully maybe maybe even bring all of this stuff the the blood magic stuff that I've got in here over and I don't know where my control crystals gone I'll have to make another one <sighs> losing everything at the moment anyway hopefully it's not been too busy Bobby well for you um, and picked up a few things. I'm going to dress up that big box as well a little bit, make it a little bit more blood magic y. Not sure how, but I will. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching.